It hits triple zeros, and this one is over. And they win it going away. The final score, Boston 124, Minnesota 108. The Boston Celtics get back in the win column with a defeat over the Minnesota Timberwolves on Saturday. Despite the Celtics being down several key players in Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Tristan Thompson, Kemba Walker, and Rob Williams, the team knew that they were down, but not out. The Wolves opened on a 7-0 run, and from there is when the Celtics took control and never looked back. And they were able to grab a 124-108 to victory to boost the team's overall morale. We needed to get a good win after playing well the whole day. And um, I thought it was really important when we step on this plane today to feel a little bit better about going in with the right mentality, taking what we talked about in practice yesterday and playing the right way defensively and offensively together and finishing the game. I just wanted to come out and play well as a, as a group. They put some things that we can carry over into the season. And you did that. And it's just something to build towards. More than just winning, you know, it's about playing the right way and playing with confidence and uh, executing uh, well. And so uh, it's it's always important to play well. Always. It doesn't matter who you're playing against, uh, what the circumstances are. You want to go out there and, and play your brand of basketball. And, you know, there was a stretch where the Timberwolves made a run. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that you know, I was able to get back out there and, and and kill the game because playing well matters uh, regardless of the circumstances. You know, I'm glad uh, we got the, the W and, and everyone contributed to it. Up next, the Celtics will face off against the Knicks tomorrow for a back-to-back, -back, and then we'll return home for the play-in tournament, and that will begin on Tuesday at TD Garden, where the Celtics will host the winner from Sunday's Hornets-Wizards matchup.